Hello and welcome to this new Blender Grease Pencil News video. In my Blender 4.3 video, I advised serious Grease Pencil users not to rely on it for their productions because of missing features and to try Blender 4.4 Alpha instead if their goal was to test Grease Pencil and report bugs. Since then, I've been playing a bit with 4.4, reported a few bugs, and replicated the old official brush pack to work with Grease Pencil. 3.0. You can get the brushes for free from my Gumroad along with a bonus brush. I also made a video to teach you how to install and update brushes with the new asset system. All links are in the description. So what's new apart from that? The developer's focus is still on adding back missing features and fixing critical bugs, but we still have some new stuff unique to Grease Pencil 3.0. Since we are out of alpha, we have the complete list of what have been added. Let's do the added back stuff first. I know you'll discover some stuff here you didn't know before because I did. In drama, the stroke option under the stroke placement works now as it is supposed to, connecting new strokes to existing ones and drawing them relative to the view. In 4.3, everything was drawn in one flat plane. Auto masking features were added back to sculpt mode. They were first introduced in Blender 3.5, and if you are not familiar with them, learn all their secrets from the video in the description. Fixed, sample, and merge modes for the simplify operator were added back in edit mode. Find them in the menus under stroke, simplify stroke. The set start point operator was added back to edit mode. It works only in cyclic or closed shapes and is useful for example with the build modifier or with the thickness modifier when using a custom curve. Find it in the menus under stroke, set start point. To visualize start and end points, go to the Grease Pencil Overlays menu and enable Stroke Direction. The green point is the start point. Lasso and box erasers were added back to draw mode. Lasso delete works by pressing Ctrl plus Alt and dragging with the right mouse button. To box delete, press B then drag with the left mouse button. What's new though is that now the erasing will respect auto keying. If enabled, erasing in a blank frame will create a new keyframe with the erased shape. In Grease Pencil 2.0, erasing always happened as if auto keying was disabled. Curve to Grease Pencil, Mesh to Grease Pencil and Font to Grease Pencil converters were added. To use them, select a curve, mesh or text object and do Object Convert Grease Pencil. The Delete Breakdown Frames operator in the DOP sheet was re-added. This operator deletes the keyframes generated by the Interpolate Sequence feature. The operator is in the DOP sheet menus under Key Delete Breakdown Frames. The Paste by Layer option pastes strokes to the same layer they were copied from, even if the strokes you copy belong to various layers, as opposed to Paste to Active, which pastes all copied strokes to the active layer. To use the option, copy then paste strokes and choose the Paste by Layer option from the last operation menu. The layers channel color for the dope sheet was added back. You can change the channel color in the layer properties under display. But to see the colors in the dope sheet, you need to enable them in the preferences under animation F curves. Now to what's new. When modifiers are involved, invisible layers are removed from evaluated data. This is important for geometry nodes powered modifiers like clay pencil because before, even if a layer was hidden, it was still displayed on the viewport. Clay pencil is a custom node setup that turns grease pencil strokes to 3D animations. You can test it with my water drops file, get it for free from my Gumroad. The preview icon of locked materials is no longer grayed out, so that it always displays the material colors accurately. Properties of materials can be edited now when a material is locked. This wasn't possible before. The lock all, unlock all and the hide others show all operators worked for layers only. Now they also affect layer groups. 
Color attributes and layer tinting now render in solid shading mode. If you recall before, this mode would only show the original colors of materials. I like how now I can use X-Ray in this mode to see how strokes overlap in all their colorful glory. This is it guys, don't forget to get the updated brush pack from my Gumroad, it's free but donations are always welcome. Also never stop talking about Palestine, I'm convinced more than ever that humanity's salvation depends on it. See you in another video and peace.